till our previous session we see how we can secure our microservice using Spring security and the social media login just like Google or Facebook or server. Now we shall deep dive into Spring security and we shall go step by step we shall take some baby step to build and explore all the features of Spring security. So let's start building a new project. I'll give this project name as retail bank and uh, since I am doing it for YouTube just let me make it wide and a retail bank and here I can select my workspace and not here yes and let me give workspace I selected Maven and here it is code tech is Java 7 and all that's fine. Now I select DevTools Lombok and from here I select Spring Web. So that's it. Let me create the new project. Remove it. I do some cleanup here, not the test, main resources. I remove these things and here let me refactor it application dot yml and here as usual i am giving some server dot port say 8001 coming here let me create a new package called controller and within this let me create not custom, but give me customer controller and let me define it as a rest controller request mapping Yes, controller. Okay, I'm getting some error. Annotation is not allowed here. Mm. What is this issue? Let me okay, remove it. Um. Okay, I can make some changes here. Settings import optimizer to import here also let me select apply ok and rest controller at the rate request mapping I think this was some ID issue customer and now I shall add a get mapping here. So I shall not write the complete business logic. I shall restrict myself up to the controller so that I can demonstrate only the security part. If you need more details about Spring Boot microservice and how to write other component like API gateway, circuit breaker, config server, all these things, please refer the previous videos that I uploaded in the channel. Mm -hmm. There I covered all these things in deep details, but here the focus will be completely on mm -hmm. Spring security. So here let me give something get get balance and here customer ID. 
now let me public response entity tree and say I can keep the name check balance and wait path param what is my path param just my id and here i give customer id so that's it now i just return few things here some hard coded value let me return it here say that uh, your balance is so basically from here you will call your business layer and all you will check this balance and it will show you but it will display but i shall not write those code i might focus on how i can secure this endpoint with speed security now let me run it let me build it and run it again as i told several times skip test is not a good idea but uh, we should write jmit but i don't want to focus on jmit here and to keep our focus on security i'm not writing those parts now let me take a new window and run it host 8001 slash customer get and I give any customer ID say coming. Uh, what happened? Local host get balance. Capital. Okay. Ah, I have not started my server yet. Let me start my server. Number so server will start. Ignore this one. This is uh, so it started. Let me go here again and keep my URL. It is. No message, no post is a customer and get balance. And here I am giving the right thing, but what happened? Yeah, I think I give the wrong email. Customer says get balance says Amit, and you can see. I can see your balance is 1000 INR. Now, problem here is that anybody can access my endpoint. So, there is no security. Now, let's start building it. First, let's see how can we add security in our project and what are the basic things provided by Spring Security. So, let me stop my server and let me go here. I shall go to start.spring.io and select anything and just add a dependency and adding spring security and okay I selected Maven So instead of that, let me I said okay, so let me select it Maven and click on Explore. Now this is the dependency that I need for Spring Security. So let me copy, take it, go to my form.xml and here I can paste it here. What else? There is a security in the test so let me copy that one also and keep it here so these are the two dependencies let me build it 
we have clean and built again. And now let me start my application again. I am not again starting my application. Let me run it. And you note this one. This is a password is generated. And now if I see my application here, paste it again. You see it is asking me a username and a password. Now password is this one. So let me take this password and default username is user. So let me click and I am able to sign. Now what is the problem here? First of all, my password is visible here. Anybody can read my password. Second thing is that every time I start my server, new password will be generated. So this is the default behavior. Now how can we improve from that? So or how can we use our own username and password and so that my password should not be displayed here. So let's go move to the next step, next baby step. So we come here and here we need to add few properties and where from I get those properties? Let's see how can I search this one, how can I, how shall I know this one? Here I go and I say Spring Security Configuration Properties. Click on that link and here we come and search for Spring Security User and you can see this is the property user name and password and if you remember earlier I used user as a user so this is the default user name is user. So let me add these two things in my application.yml. So it will be, first let me give my application name, retail bank and security.user.name, let me give it Amit and password code tennis. Let me save it. Quickly build. And run it. So one thing I shall, should tell you. If you run every time on the same register suppose if I do it here it may not ask me the password because Spring Security cache those previous username and password here. So I will show you where it cached and all what are the things it does everything I should show you but what happened I suggest you should close this browser and open a new ignito window and there we can give local host customer name get better see this one now i can give and now i shall show you one thing you see there is no password is generated here no password generated here so we come here what is our password is username is amit and password is code tech is and wow we are able to see or access the endpoint. So what we did first we start, when we started we have not introduced spring security. We have not added spring security dependency. So anybody was able to access our endpoint. Now when I add this dependency spring security by default started generating our password and 
uh, gives us a default user name as user and we are able to access we need to give this user and password now the problem here is that password is printing in the console so we take our next baby step where we did we added few properties and define this user name and password in our application.yml and we are able to access our add point with this username and password now but problem is that still we have username and password in our application.yml and this is not a best solutions so in the next step we can move those things into database or some other places and we can create multiple users also so we shall build on that and i shall meet you in the next sessions so if you like these videos please like share and subscribe they will help us or encourage us to produce more more such videos thank you and see you in the next session